Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. And I am super excited because for today's video, we're going to go ahead and start off by talking about this message that Amberlynn actually sent me. Now she has since deleted it and no evidence remains. What I can tell you is that she is not happy with me. What else is no? We will also take a look at this Instagram Q&A that Amberlynn did after a buzz ball where she says that she is in love with another girly. Are you serious? Yes. Let me know what you guys think of the Christmas tree. I just put it up. I'm still working on that Christmas tree Lego. I also just got this yesterday. Oh, it's so pretty and so sparkly. I've always wanted one of these and I found one for a really good price. We've got the Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here. Are y'all excited? Feeling the pressure to get the good gifts? I never know what to get certain people like my grandma or my aunts. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Okay, so let's start off by talking about this message that Amber Lynn sent me. I was sitting right here yesterday. This happened yesterday. I think that she sent this message when she was doing the Instagram Q&A when she was under the influence. I guess Amber Lynn was drunk messaging me. Should I be flattered or scared? I'm a little bit worried that her mentality going into this is not that of a person that's sitting down to responsibly have a drink. It just feels like it could be an issue for her because she has said that's what it is. So I am unblocked. Maybe she'll see this video and go ahead and go in there and block me again. This was definitely a drunk decision from our girl. So like I said, I was sitting here and I opened up my Instagram app. I don't check Instagram, not as much as Twitter, not not even every day do I go on the Instagram and it popped up so quick. I wasn't able to get a screenshot, but I was able to see a little bit of the message. I definitely got the vibe that she was unhappy with me. So what she had to say is that she was watching my most recent video. I think it was the reaction that I did to her vlog when she addressed why wifey wasn't speaking to her anymore. What I said was her getting with that girl right after being with wifey was kind of a manipulation for her to get wifey back. She wanted to make Feline jealous. There's that saying, you don't know what you have till it's gone. The part of the message that I saw from Amber was, why do I always twist her breakup to fit my narrative of her life? That was what she was saying to me. So she wasn't happy. I'm not sure what the rest of the message said. It disappeared very quickly. And when I click on the button on Amber's profile to message her, it's not there anymore. Amber has said the same thing about Karina Kaboom when she was talking to Destiny. Do you guys remember that? But she's a nice lady. No, she twists everything that I say to fit her narrative. I can only go off what she puts out there if she wants to correct the narrative. We have very much seen manipulation from her especially when it comes to Becky. She wanted to silence Becky. So she said that she was going to get the police involved, which honestly doesn't make any sense. Becky did say that like many, many months before Becky did it first. It doesn't mean it's any less manipulative, but I'm standing my ground. I do think her moving on with those new girls so quickly was an effort to try to get wifey to take her back. And that's what I believe based on what I have seen. I'm also calling Amberlynn out. She was recently seen in Foodie Beauty's chat. She's cozying back up to Chantal, and I just don't understand it. Did she forget that Chantal actually wrote this whole post that was completely unnecessary, saying that she doesn't agree with the gay lifestyle? Amber, you're a lesbian. How can you support somebody like that? Everyone except for the people that blindly support Chantal, how can you be one of those people? Doesn't agree with the whole cat situation because the proof is right there. Speaking of that, Foodie has been going off on her community tab about the cat situation again. I'm really not sure why you decided to start supporting Chantal again, Amber, but maybe think again. That woman is only going to bring you more trouble and try to drag you down with her. For this segment of the video, I want to talk about this drunk Q&A that Amber did on Instagram. It was uploaded to YouTube by Piggy Channel, and I was super happy they did because Amber blocked me. Amber starts by saying, I'm drinking tonight for the first time in two weeks. Someone asked, will we get the full Feline story if she gave you permission to share what you want? And Amber said, no, I'm not sharing my love life, but y'all would be shocked. Absolutely shocked. 
just about everything currently, everything that's currently going on about the new girl or about what's going on between her and Feline, because I thought that Feline was done speaking to her, not about her only, just everything. Enough of her, please. Girl, you have brought her up in almost every single YouTube video, so of course people are going to want to talk about her. That's what I don't understand. Yeah, Feline has left YouTube, but Amber keeps bringing her up. So people are still going to talk about her, right? It reminds me of that comment I told you guys I received. Someone was being super sus. They were so upset that I was speaking about wifey. And I just said, when Amber stops talking about her, I'll stop talking about her. Here, someone said, would you ever consider having a solo partnership with someone who is poly slash married? Poly and married? I have to be in love how exactly does that work out? It's a marriage, but you're the third added to the marriage. That could never, ever, ever be me, especially if it is like a married situation. I don't think I could even do a poly situation because you're sharing your partner with somebody else. And especially if they're married to that partner, but not married to you, because in the US, I don't think you could do that. You would always feel like the third wheel. Why are you here? In the back of your mind, imagine thinking there's a lot more steps to dissolve a marriage, but you could just be dropped like a hot potato. Nope. Spill us some tea, sis. To which Amber replies, I'm in love. Save me, SOS. This is what the third time that she's been in love since leaving Feline just in July. It's still a possibility that she's in love with Feline now because she admitted that she was in love with Destiny one year into her relationship with Becky. And that hurt Becky that she was so hung up over her ex. And that their relationship meant so little that she was able to jump to wifey. It's interesting that she did the exact same thing to Becky. Although it was worse because she moved the person in. Amber saying that she's in love again. I can't help but think that this woman doesn't understand what love actually is. And that could stem from some trauma regarding the way that she grew up in and out of the foster care system. Maybe not feeling that love from her parents. So she was looking for it elsewhere and she'll continue to do that to this day day. How is she in love this quickly with a new person? Do you regret any relationship or did you learn in all of them? Amber says, I don't regret a single person I've been with and I've learned something from each person. Yes. It's kind of giving like, thank you next by Ariana Grande. It is nice that she didn't use this opportunity to throw Becky under the bus though, because it's right there and she didn't take it. Somebody asked her to go live and she says, I've been advised not to LMAO. Who is advising our girl? Does she have one of those fancy YouTube managers? Any fun secrets that you've been keeping that you're dying to let out? I love drunk secrets. This person's like baiting our girl to spill the tea while she's under the influence. Um, uh, good job, girly. I have enough secrets for the next few years of clickbait titles, but I'm not that girly. Girl, come on, tell us a secret. I don't even care if it's clickbait. If you do spill the tea, that's not clickbait. With December coming up, she may want to drum up a little bit of drama. Maybe that's why she's getting in with Foodie Beauty, but ugh. Are you in Destiny Civil at the moment? And Amber says, who's Destiny? She's being like that. Who's Destiny? Never heard of her. Maybe you should come on and tell your story about the situation with Destiny. Although we've pretty much seen it all play out on YouTube. And I don't think that it would have the same splash as it would several, several years ago. Everything that went down in the Destiny era is just not relevant anymore. And I did enjoy Destiny like coming out and telling her side of the story. It was kind of funny, although boring at times. It's all irrelevant. And I wouldn't want someone judging me on my relationship from eight years ago, especially considering the things that I was doing at the time. Amber, tell us about your love life. And she says, I can't. Maybe we'll get some more secrets in the upcoming vlogs, especially with December coming up. If you guys don't know, there's like this trope because YouTubers get paid a lot more in December. Companies are advertising for Christmas, so it makes sense. There is this stereotype that YouTubers will drum up drama so that they get more views at that time and make more money. So what do you got, Amber? I don't really see her doing Vlogmas this year because she's by herself and a lot of her content revolved around getting 
giving gifts to her partner and then they would give gifts to her and they would open them up on camera. I love 2020 Vlogmas with Becky when she gave her chapstick and the earrings, 25 days of earrings, the blanket. That was actually a really good gift from Amber to Becky. I have to give her that one. Ah, such an iconic moment. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Amberlynn saying that I'm manipulating the narrative? Girl, I'm just going off what you say. Amber being in love. That's wild. I don't think she's actually in love. Maybe she doesn't know what love really is. Does that have to do with her past? I will see you guys tomorrow night for our Sunday live stream. I did see the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Did you guys see it yet? We'll talk about it tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. 